What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're checking out the Baga Ivy Generator, an add-on from the developer of BagaPy that allows you to create really detailed Ivy inside of your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we've talked about BagaPy a bunch before. Um, you can download the free BagaPy modifier from the Blender Market. I can link to that in the notes down below. But this is a new tool specifically designed to generate Ivy inside of your models. And so it's a super detailed Ivy generator um, that you can use in order to create a ton of different kinds of Ivy. Um, so there, there was, I think Bagapai has a little bit of an IV generator inside of it. This one is designed to have much more realistic assets. Uh, one of the bonuses in this one is it's got over 120 assets, a bunch of different varieties of IV. So I don't think I've ever seen an add-on with this many um, kinds of IV. And so not only does it come with the presets of the IV, it also comes with the individual parts and pieces you can use in order to customize your own. So let's jump over into Blender and take a look at the way that it works. And so when you first install uh, Baga IV generator, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little tab on the right hand side of the page in your in panel. So if you tap the in key, you can pop this out. And then inside of the asset browser, it's going to give you all of the assets contained inside of this. So for example, notice how we have options in here. We can select the individual flowers. We can select the different kinds of leaves that are in here as well as the presets. And we're gonna start by focusing on the presets um, and how we can use those to quickly add Ivy. And so let's go ahead and let's click on one of these Ivies. Maybe I'll go with these uh, pink flower ivies right here. Because I'm just gonna select my object. One thing to note is you may wanna go ahead and place your 3D cursor on your object because this is gonna add like an emitter type thing. I haven't quite figured out what the name of it is. But um, when you have this in here, you just wanna have that close so you don't have ivy going off in the distance. But now if I click on add new ivy, this is gonna jump me over into draw mode and I can come in here and I can just draw on top of Bonnie like this in order to set where I want that IV to go. And so notice what that does is that adds a curve in here and it adds IV on top of that curve. Now, there's a number of different things that we can adjust in here. So first off, you can adjust things like the uh, the max length of the trunk, right? So the higher that is, the more um, the, the more the IV is gonna go away from your curve. Um, if we set that lower, then um, notice how we get IV more directly along the curve like this. And so you can adjust a bunch of different things about this, like the max length, as well as the IV propagation in here. So this is just gonna set things like your density of your IV, um, the density of your branches, other things like that. So you can use this in order to really quickly place the ivy in here, but notice how down below, there's also things you can adjust having to do with the customization of the ivy. So for example, I can set how dense the leaves are gonna be in here, as well as the minimum distance for the leaves as well. So again, like super customizable in here um, when it comes to the actual ivy itself. Uh, you can also adjust the random scale of the ivy. So if I wanted these all to be smaller, right, I can bring this down. And so if I bring this down, obviously what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to bump my density and my distance um, a little bit um, in order to get more of this in here. And so again, you can kind of adjust this until you get the result that you're looking for. And so we can talk in a second about adding leaves and other things like that, but notice how you can also adjust the probability of flowers, the scale of those flowers. And then down below, you've got even more things having to do with the actual like trunk of the ivy, right? So notice how you can make that bigger or smaller. You can adjust the radius of the branches that are in here. Um, like I said, there's just a ton of control over something as simple as ivy. So um, it's a pretty cool add-on from that standpoint. Now notice how you do have options in here for things like animation. And so these are set up so that they animate. So if I jump over into my timeline right here and I click on the play button, notice how that ivy is moving around inside of my scene. And you can adjust things about the way that ivy moves around right here. So for example, I could make it move around a lot faster if I wanted it to do that or slower. Um, all of that is in here and it's really easy to adjust just using the sliders in here. Um, that's one cool thing about this is it's built on geometry nodes and it's built to be super easy to use. Note that this is actually bringing in those IV assets right here, and it's placing them on the ground right now, but you can see the collections of IV that this is currently using. And so let's say we wanted to remove and add a different leaf in here. Um, so say you wanted to change the look of this. Well, what you could do, right, is you can select leaves like this and then do a shift click and select your IV. Well, notice how in your leaves tab, there's the option here to remove leaves. 
right? So if I come in here and I do this, I could actually remove all of the leaves in here. Notice how now my ivy doesn't have any leaves. You could select your ivy and then click on a kind of leaf in here, right? So like this ficus, for example, and then click on the add leaf. And what that's going to do is that's going to drop this in here and it's going to help populate your, um, your ivy with this kind of leaf. So you can add multiple different other kinds of leaves in here. You can actually swap out the leaves, which is pretty cool. And so one thing I'm really impressed about with this is just how easy it is to add the IV in here, right? So if I select this object, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my 3D cursor right here or maybe over here, but then I can just pick an IV. I can just click on add new IV and I can just draw over top of it and it's going to add the IV on the surface like this. And so overall, I'm just really impressed with the quality um, that's gone into this IV generator. All right, so remember that this particular add-on is on sale through the Blender Market uh, Black Friday sale through the end of the day today. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. I am impressed with what Antoine has been doing, especially with geometry nodes, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.